Hello, my name is Sunshine Experts, and welcome back to my Pokemon Expert Emerald version walkthrough made by Azure. And in the last episode, we moved in, pretty much got into uh, Pretty Board Woods and took out a Chikorita. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know what happened otherwise, then go check the last episode. But yeah, I went back and got the Pokeballs, and I still forgot about the form. Great. Now, if you buy 10 Pokeballs, uh, you will get a Premier Ball, which is for free. It's like a regular Pokeball, but you get an extra one. So yeah. Anyways, welcome to Route 104 again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right now, I should have like those wild Pokemons on. Just to show you guys. And then here's Pedal Work, and we are back to where we were. Let's go and start this. I caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. Go, go, go! My bug Pokemon team! Which is weak to flying and fire. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. I killed the Chikorita. And there are only, there's only one of them in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, that's fun. Anyways, there's Kakuna. We already seen this Pokemon. Well, we did not. I already talked about it, which when we saw a Weedle, so yeah. Now, the only moves they usually have is Harden and Poison Sing sometimes, depends, and String Shot if they actually evolved it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's a Metapod at level 7. No problems whatsoever. We can easily take it out with a po uh, Pound, as long as we can take it out quick and not waste our TP. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. We're just gonna try to go through this, uh, pet wo wo woods as quick as possible just so we can get into the next area as fast as we can. <laughs> just so, um, we don't have to worry about the woods for a long, long, long time. So, yeah. Anyways, we took out the metapod, so yeah. And there we go. Alright, done and done. Alright, uh, let's. Get caught by a Pokemon. All right, so let's go and take this Pokeball. Um, it's a Paralyzed Seal, so that indicates that we may get something that has something that does that. I don't know. Anyways, let's go up here and. Hmm, huh. not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen my any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. I was gonna ambush you, but you had to dwindle in Pellwood words forever, didn't you? Oh, okay. I got sick of waiting. So here, here, little, here I am. Eh. You, Devin Researcher, hand over those papers. I, I, I can't go that high. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please. Huh? What do you think you're doing? What? You're gonna protect him? No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Alright, uh, apparently we have some kind of team, I guess? Uh, the unknown Team Rock, oh, Team Aqua Ground is here, yay! He starts off with a Bagon at level 10 as the Dragon type Pokemon has 3 stages of evolution. How do you evolve it into its evolution is by just leveling up, so yeah. Now, Bagon is kind of interesting. It can be, it can use, like, special attacks like Flamethrower and so forth, and can be a physical attacker like what, a pierce dragon claw and then dra and dragon dance and so forth. So this is a pretty interesting Pokemon, it's pretty powerful as well, so I recommend it, but you're not going to get that Pokemon anytime soon, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I was using a potion, I don't really care about that, I just need to keep pounding it and pounding it and pounding it and pounding it. Rage is a move where as long as you continuously hit them, their rage is going to continue to increase, but I got a critical hit on them, so yeah, there we go. We almost got a level up, so whatever. You're kidding me. You're tough. Yeah. I'm level 15. <laughs> uh, uh, you got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something in Roost World. Roost World. Uh, I'll let you go today. Hmm. That was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of those of these important papers. I know, I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. We got that great ball! Alright, very nice. Didn't that Team Aqua Dog say that they were after something in Westboro too? Uh oh, this is a crisis! I can't be wasting time! Um, okay. That's about it. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's talk to you. Yo there, your Pokemon doing okay? If your Pokemon are weak and you want to avoid battles, you should stay out of the tall grass. Yeah, that's not possible. Look at that. 
Uh, let's go and hopefully try it. I'm gonna bow you. If you take Bug Pokemon to school, you get to be instantly popular. That's not true. <laughs> Having a bug Pokemon, even a bug, I think you're gonna make more people scream than like. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go and use Pound. This is Ladybug. Oh, well, yeah, this is the lady, Ladybug, but it's called Ladybug. Um, Ladybug is a flying bug type Pokemon. Has two stages of evolution. How you evolve it is by leveling up. So yeah, I'm go I'm down to 19 HP. God, son of a gun. But yeah, there we go, and we are gonna get a level up here. Very nice. Level 16. Here are your stats. And we're learning Pursuit. All right, I'm gonna take that. Pursuit is an interesting move. It allows you to do double damage if they're switching out. So yeah. And how often do CPUs switch out? Yeah, that's kind of. <laughs> really rare, really rare. Anyways, uh, he's sending out a uh, spinner rack at level 8. Uh, it's a poison bug type Pokemon, has two stages of evolution. How do you evolve by leveling up? And I just fell asleep. You have ex. What? You have a. Ex oh my god. So it apparently has a flex spore. Wow. Wow. That is interesting. Uh, it's using strange shot. I don't really care. I just need to somehow, somehow wake up, or I could just use, you know, I'm just gonna wait on it. I can use my potions. I don't really care. But it's using strange shot. It missed. I don't, I don't really care about that. I just need to wake up, please, ninja. Stop using poison sting on me. Now it's doing not. It's not really doing anything. Like I see right now, you got a full turn of sleep. Why do you have String Shot and Scary Face? They both lower your speed. Logic in this game. And I'm slower than it. Oh, great. Oh, freaking great. That is just wonderful. And why didn't I use Quick Attack? Whoopsie. But whatever, we pretty much took out the Spinner Act. Very nice. And that took a lot longer than it should have. Okay. Uh, I can't be popular if I lose. They won't know, you just have to lie. No. Hey, it's a level up and to an evolution or some sort, I don't know. Alright, and we got a grow vial. Yeah, that looks like a hippie in some way, shape, or form. It looks like some guy that's trying to fly or something. Uh, Fury Cutty. Okay, I'll take it. Fury Cutty is an interesting move as well. Um, you pretty much just have to keep using it as uh, as long as it keeps hitting, and it'll, its power keeps that increasing. So it is something that takes a little bit of patience to use, but yeah. Anyways, we got an Ether. Very nice. That's gonna allow us to heal our PP when we need it. And let's check this. Uh, turn of tips. In addition to hit points, Pokemon have power points that are used for, to make moves during battles. If Pokemon runs out of PP, it must be taken to a Pokemon Center or use an Ether. That works too. Anyways, welcome to Route 104. Here's a Pokemon for this area. I'm gonna go and get these orange berries right here. And we're gonna go and get these ras uh, raspberries, sorry, or cherry berries, okay. Uh, they look the same actually, most of the time. Uh, let's go. What is this building? A pretty hello flower shop. Okay, let's go in there because flowers are manly. I don't know. But let's go and check this. Hello, this is a pretty hello flower shop. Spreading flowers all over the world. Your name is Experts. That's a nice name. Experts, would you like to learn about berries? Uh, sure. Berries grow on trees that thrive only in soft, loamy soil. Uh, if you take some berries, be sure to plant one in the loamy soil again. La -la. Uh, berries go again. I want to see the whole wild. Uh, that's my please help me plant more. Okay. Um, no, thank you. Cause I, this is a walkthrough. Uh, <coughs> sorry. And we got the Wilmer up hill. Nice. Uh, this is pretty much your watering pit. I don't know. What is that called? Water stuff. I don't know. It's just for you to water stuff. And yeah, that should be it. Uh, there's some items back there. I'm going to try to get it. Uh, here's a potion. Very nice. We got another potion because I didn't eat it. <laughs> uh, let's try to... There we go. Here's a super potion. Very nice. And... We should be able to get... There's no items there. Alright, so let's get out of here. Hopefully. 
Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm gonna go and heal right here because I don't have too much AP. Now, Grova or Ninja is it's at an okay level right now, so yeah. In the Hoenn region, there are pairs of trainers who challenge others for a 2 on 2 battle, Pokemon battle called Double Battles. In a Double Battle, the trainer must send out 2 Pokemon, the one at the left of the list in the top run. Watch out! Watch how Pokemon are lined up. Eh. But I don't have a second Pokemon yet. <laughs> oh sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. God, I hate these rich people. I hate them. Eh. Anyways, um, you look like you're more in a jumpsuit. Like more of a challenger suit. I don't know. It's like, oh, look at me. I'm so rich. Even though I'm in like a challenger suit. <laughs> Anyways, here's the point goal at level 8. Uh, it's a bug type Pokemon. It has two stages of evolution. You evolve it is by just leveling up. So, yeah. I don't know how to attack it. Oh, God. Furry attack. Uh, furry cutter. Sorry. And it did a critical hit. Wow. Um, here's acid. It's gonna do quite a bit of damage to me. And you have an orange berry, don't you? You have an orange berry. Yep, you do. Okay. Uh, let's just keep using furry cutter. Now, as long as you don't miss, you'll be fine. I'm gonna go and like die from this. I know it already. So I need to be quick. Come on. Fury cut it. There we go. And done and done. Fury cut it is pretty much a move that continues to increase your attack. So pretty nice. Here's a Cascoon at level 8. It's a bug type Pokemon. It has three stages of evolution. This being the second evolution. How you evolve it is just by leveling up. So yeah. I'm gonna go and heal actually. So absorb that son of a coon. Sing. I don't know. Uh, but at least we can heal like 5 HP, so that's pretty nice. Now, Grovel or Ninja, or the family itself, it's more of a special attacker. So I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble getting these moves that I need for it, but whatever, right? So I'm just gonna continue using Absorb just to heal my HP, and I got a crit hit right now, so very nice. Alright. Um, that's pretty much it. Next Pokemon, please. Uh, the next Pokemon is a Silco, Sil Silcoon. Yeah, it's the kind of part of the Cascoon. So yeah, let's just go and take it out. Now we just have to take it. Okay, that's half. But we just need to take it out with a sword because we just don't. Really why do you have a? Why do you have a Jody? Why do you have a? Okay. Put this in your head. How does a Pokemon that's wrapped in like silk I, I presume I presume it's silk how can it use agility and move faster when it can't move it can jump yes but that's probably the only thing it can do so how can a Pokemon that's stuck inside of silk move faster that makes no sense game none well, whatever. We got the level. Uh, we almost got to a level up, so yeah. Uh, whatever. Uh, logic. And I got caught by another trainer. Great. Should I, or shouldn't I? Okay, sure. I will battle. Uh, you lock my eyes onto yours, so I have to battle no matter how I see this. Hey, Lee, you have a Hobbit at level ten. Uh, Hobbit is a grass and flying type, but one has three stages of evolution. How you evolve it is by leveling up. I'm gonna go and use Fairy Cutter because why not? And that's okay. And why are you healing now? Why are you healing now? That makes no sense at all. You can see this, right? I, I'm literally doing more damage than you can heal now. Just. Okay, it's one. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, that's one in KO, and we get the level 17. We're doing pretty good right now with our levels, so yeah. I shouldn't have battled. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Anyways, uh, we can't go there, so don't worry about it. Let's go over here. Do you want to battle with us? It's a big no-no if you don't have two Pokemon with you. We're too strong for you. <laughs> you, you make me laugh. You, you make me laugh. <laughs> Why keep it a secret? I'm a water Pokemon expert. Huh? You don't know me? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Who are you? Who are you? Ivan. Uh, okay. Uh, he has a coil fish at level 9, has a poison uh, poison and water type point, has no evolution whatsoever, so yeah. 
Let's just go in the... Hmm. Absorb, I guess. Because I don't want to touch it. It does have poison point, I think. Unless you change it, which then I have to check on it again. Why do you have struggle? Okay, if you guys don't know Pokemon, struggle is a move that's only... It's pretty much... Struggle is your fifth move, pretty much. Struggle is only used when you don't have any PP for any of your moves or you don't have any moves itself. So, that Quillfest has no moves that it knows or has no PP for any of its moves. So that means that it has to use Struggle. That's weird. That's really weird. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. Um, there's a match cover at level 9. It has two stages of evolution. It's a water type Pokemon. It's how you evolve into its last evolution is by leveling up. So, yeah. And it does evolve into the famous Gyarados. So, yeah. Um, here's a Gremin... Gremin... Raid? Gremonade? I don't know. Um, it's in water type Moon. How you evolve it is by leveling up. So, yeah. Let's just go and use... It's super effective. What? Okay, I need to look at the Pokemon typing again. <laughs> okay. Um, that's interesting, because usually Bug doesn't work against water Pokemon like that. But okay, that makes sense. I thought I wasn't ba too bad, if I may say so. If I may say so, eh. But I guess not. Blech. Blech, indeed. Blech. Blech. I don't know. Um, uh, Cherry Berries, okay. Uh, which heal is paralyzed, or paralysis, sorry. Uh, let's get this. Leafa Berries. And we should be good here. Come on. And there we go. If you see berries growing in loamy soil, feel free to take them. But make sure to plant a berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy. Here, I'll show this. I'll show this. Share this with you. Uh, show this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust the berry. Okay, the way you look, you must be a trainer. No. Trainers often make Pokemon hope berries. It's up to you whether you grow berries or use them. Alright, so let's just go and... Okay, be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, is there any other place I can go to this way? Uh, welcome to Rustbo City. Well, outside of Rustbo City, sorry. Uh, let's just get this uh, X Defend. I'm gonna sell that for sure because I don't use it. Maybe I should. It might be useful. It might be useful in this situation. But yeah, um, let's go into Rustbo. Yeah, now welcome to Rustbo City. First off, you want to go over here to this little house. And you want to talk to this guy. That determined expression, that limber way you move. And your well trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer! No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you can put this hidden machine to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it! We got HMO1! Yeah! That hidden machine, or HM, is short for its cut. An HM move is one that can be used by Pokemon outside of battle. Any Pokemon that learn cut can chop down thin trees if, a, if the trainer has earned the stone badge. And unlike a TM, an HM can be used more than once. So yeah. Um, but I guess I'll end it off right here because we've been going on for at least 18 minutes or so. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode 3, no, 4, 4, sorry. Um, and next episode, we're gonna hopefully take on the gym, if not, pretty close to it, I guess. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit the like button down below, make sure to favorite as well, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone.